Got an 0203 Sprinter here. It's a OM612, obviously. All of a sudden, doesn't want to start. Crank, 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 won't start. All systems seem to go, except the rail pressure is like at zero when it starts to crank. Slowly gets up to, I don't remember if it was 12 PSI or 12 bar, but either way, that's not near enough. Took the fuel quantity control valve, I'm sorry, not the quantity control valve, took the fuel pressure control valve off the back of the rail, and I think we can identify a problem there. If I can hold the camera still. That don't look good. That's what it should look like. All right, if we spin things around a little bit, there we go. What happened there? It is, it's more than just a rubber. That little white thing is going there too, that white plastic piece of it missing. Over here, that second piece isn't white. Come on, focus. There we go. And I've done one of these videos before showing how to get at that, how to take the, the rail off if necessary. This time I'm not taking the rail off. If you're lucky, your valve will be held on with these. Five millimeter hex key socket heads. I'm not so lucky today. It's an E8. Of course my E8 socket, even my smallest one, flares out right away and there is no room to get at that second bolt as it sits on the back of the rail, kind of like this, I can get to this bolt without any problem. It's blind, I got a feel for it, but I can get to it. Over here, there isn't enough room between this housing and the intake manifold. But what I've found works, quarter inch deep drive, uh, quarter inch drive deep socket, quarter inch socket. Reaches in there just past that guy. Like so. Another useful tip when you're working back there in the back of the engine where things tend to fall and get lost forever. Put magnets in the tips of your finger gloves. These tiny little magnets like that. So I'm working back there. Nothing drops.